welcome to San Francisco and it's Sail GP Season 2 Grand Final Weekend. Well, Jordi Shamar could not have dreamt of a more spectacular debut as the new leader of the Spanish team. Absolutely, Ton. This weekend, Jordi's going to have a shot at making it to the Grand Final. But the three favourites are some of the biggest legends in the sport. Yes, it's Tom Slingsby for Australia, Nathan Outridge for Japan, and local hero Jimmy Spithill for USA. Not so time ago, I was running behind these guys uh, asking for pictures, and now we are here, seated next to them, and we know it's the opportunity of our life, and we want to be the three kings. One, Jordi Jamar, full speed ahead, and it's first across the line. First ever race, first to the line, huge statement of intent. Vamos ahí, los chicharrones, vamos ahí. Tenemos un enlace directo con el oyente, un enlace directo con el viewer. Y entonces lo que estamos haciendo, lo que hemos convertido es una retransmisión en la que estamos interactuando también con la afición. ¿Qué nos dice el chat? ¿Qué nos está diciendo la gente en YouTube? Nos pregunta Rever John, si son frecuentes los pinchazos por el viento rojo. Pues la gente interactúa, ¿no? Eh, a lo mejor coge Nico y dice, ¿dónde está la marea roja? ¿Dónde está? No veo esos mensajes, no veo. Empieza ya, pa, 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 subí mensajes. Yo, es que están ahí. O sea, que, la, que, no, que no soy yo el único enfermo que está aquí a las 3 de la mañana levantado. <risa> viendo el móvil con los ojos rojos, picándote, intentando aguantar con mi madre al lado, que mi madre también es otra que soy una apasionada de la vela. Los he ido siguiendo desde el minuto uno. Spain Sail GP team finishes second in the last race of the day. How talented is this guy? I guess the chatter on shore after racing was that they exceeded expectations. And that's pretty impressive. I don't think anybody expected that. Brutal, acabar con un segundo y un tercero el debut de Sol Increíble. Vaya peso encima, nos hemos sacado. Vamos. Well, that's it for today. Tomorrow the Sail GP Season 2 champion will be decided. Australia, Japan and USA have qualified for the final. All they have to do is to keep their boat safe during the first two fleet races tomorrow. Let's go. You guys are on the party bus. Any advices? No. Don't hit us. Yeah. <laughs> if you're going to hit someone, hit a, 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 a blue fun. or a green <laughs> boat. <laughs> Don't hit us. First race of the day. The Spanish are third, just behind USA Sail GP team led by Jimmy Spittle. Well, this is close boat to boat racing. Very important game. All boats will be pushing to the limit. Diving inside there, I think it was too late. Massive moment on board there. Wow, hopefully everyone's okay. Y una prioridad era no liarla, no, 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 no ser el centro de atención por una liada, no. You just don't ever want to do that like as a driver, as a sailor, as a sports person. Sentí que que si dejaba Estados Unidos fuera en la final de Estados Unidos, eh, que quizá iba a ser la última vez que cogía un F50, si te soy sincero. Vaya liada tú. Seeing how emotional Jordi was about that, I think it's it shows his character that he cares, but I think it also shook his confidence because he went in all guns blazing, he tried to get around that mark and he hit another boat. So next time you're in that position and you're trying to put it in there, get around a mark, maybe you're gonna remember oh what happened last time or this happened and and not have that same level of confidence going into a race boat on boat situation. So 
So we've had Bermuda and Chicago and, and the Spanish team haven't really done anything special for a while and you know, it's the third event, they've had some time off, it's the start of the European leg and it's day one, race one, and the Spanish are looking for a gap on the line. And the one person down there is Sir Ben Ainsley and his British team on home waters. Spain's getting far too close. What's Geordie doing? Oh no, there's a crash. There's been contact. And you can see on the onboard in that moment how the Spanish team, we enter in a paralysis. It's a, it's a shock for us. After that collision, the fleet sails towards Mark 1 and we're just there paralyzed, thinking, okay, What's this now? Como otra vez, no? Entonces, mm, ese había vuelto a recuperar la confianza. Eh, la primera salida el sábado, pum, y, y me quedé en shock, sinceramente. Es decir, esa colisión, aunque fuera mucho más pequeña, eh, me hizo personalmente a mí dar dar mucho, dar un paso atrás eh, muy grande. You can't be like that. It's kind of like F1. As soon as you lose your confidence, as soon as you don't, if you second guess yourself coming into a turn and you question, should I turn in now? Maybe should I wait? It's, it's hesitation. And people like myself, Peter Burling, Ben Ainsley, we can see that and we'll pounce on you if you hesitate. Jordi, it's been a tough season so far. Currently, you're just one place off the bottom of the leaderboard. The CEO of the league, Russell Coots, has published an article suggesting that you should be replaced by your flight controller, Diego Botin. How long do you think... Unfortunately for Jordi, in that situation, when you have the CEO of a league that you're trying to prove yourself in, question whether you should be driving in their 50, that's a pretty hard thing just to sweep under the rug and ignore. So I think Jordi took that to heart, and I don't judge him for that. The day is sure that there is lots of pressure, there is lots of going on, but I think that we just have to be ourselves. Si ahora decidimos lo que está ahora en la boca de todos y que Russell no para de repetir, que tenéis, eh, sigo pensando que Diego es muy bueno. Claro que sí, Diego es buenísimo. Pero qué pasa si ahora me tiramos a Diego, Jordi tendría que aprender el rol de flight controller, Diego tendría que aprender el rol de piloto, y luego el liderazgo que lleva Jordi en el equipo se rompería porque no le hemos dado el tiempo suficiente. Race two, Spain is last again. They've just finished way, way behind the rest of the fleet. Copenhagen, we, we were lacking confidence. We were lacking initiative, proactivity. So far in Jordi's Sergio GP career, he's hit Jimmy Spithill and Ben Ainsley with boat-on-boat -boat contact and sustained damage. And that's what I saw with the Spanish after those incidents. You can see that they're drawing back, that they don't want to have those bone on boat battles. But that's what SAJP is, it's bone on boat battle and you've got to come to the party. We're all up, yeah. All right. Basically, we, we spoke a little bit. Obviously, we did our own analysis, no? Try to... Yo, main... Nos volvimos a sentar. Eh, eh, yo me iba de luna de miel y, y, y yo le dije a Carmen, Carmen, no nos vamos eh, de luna de miel y... Porque, bueno. Okay, maybe you you grab a camera. I'm I'm calling him. Maybe we can film this. I'm calling Jordi. ¿Qué pasa, tío? ¿Qué pasa, mi flor? After Copenhagen, it's a regroup. It's, do we do what Russell says? Do we change drivers? No, that's not an option. Okay, fine. What are you going to do as a team? ¿Cómo va esa luna de miel por ahí, por Kenia? And the thing that the Spanish team have is they've grown up together. They're all friends. They're all used to each other's presence. But how do you create a leader in an environment of friends. ¿Te importa si si grabamos con el equipo que hay aquí esta conversación? Claro, tío, yo creo lo, que lo grabo con el móvil de Carmen. Yo se sí, le da una vuelta, he hablado con Diego y Recuerdo estar en Kenia y me acuerdo de estar en el en el safari y yo creo que el 80 por cuando vea a Carmen esto igual igual 
Igual me dice, ya lo sabía yo, por... pero el 80... Yo recuerdo estar de Safari y el 80% del tiempo, o el, o el 90%, estar pensando en ser GP, ¿no? Y ver, ver las jirafas y yo estar viendo salidas de F50. Sobre todo el que está revolviendo mucho la situación es Russell, ¿no? Nos ha dado... Totalmente. Yo lo que... O sea, en Copenhague, tío, volví a tierra. O sea, qué cojones hemos hecho saliendo así, con miedo, con ostras, el qué dirán, y tal... O sea... Totalmente. A tomar por... Mmm, por bien. A tomar por bien, o sea... No estoy siendo yo totalmente en el barco, ¿no? Preguntando, dudas, ostras. Eh, es como que, ostras, estos tíos tienen más experiencia que yo, preguntar, tal... Y en estos barcos no hay tiempo de preguntar. En ese racing boat to boat es en el que yo creo que que de ahora adelante voy a coger yo las riendas y voy a tomar las decisiones, porque si estás esperando la decisión de tal, ya, ya es tarde, ¿no? Que ya no soy, ya no soy más el novato, tío. Tito Jefa. Vamos. So it's like, okay, pressure was on, but big time. If you ask Russell now, he's putting pressure because for him it's a short term perspective. If we don't deliver short term, mid and long term, He's already threatening us with, okay, we'll see what's going to happen with the Spanish team.